Good morning, I'm Brooke Hapes. It has been one week since two children were found dead in a Kakana home. Police say the bodies of five-year-old William and three-year-old Danielle Beyer were found last Monday morning after a 911 call that came from inside the home. Police say their injuries were intentional. There have been no arrests. Kakana police say the incident is still under investigation. One person is under arrest for allegedly threatening Bayport High School via Snapchat. According to the Brown County Sheriff's Office, they were alerted to the threat and were quickly able to identify the person who sent the message. The suspect, who was not a student at Bayport, was taken into custody around 5 last night. Anyone who mows a yard in Appleton might be able to take the month of May off. The No Mow May plan calls for long grass rules to not be enforced from May 1st until June 15th in an effort to help bees. The resolution did not pass. It will go back in front of the committee in a couple of weeks. Today is Fat Tuesday. It's a day where people indulge for what's known as Poonchki Day. And Smrava's Country Bakery has been busy getting ready, making out plenty of Polish treats for the crowds out today. Meteorologist Michael Fish, and we're going to have that wind today. Not the most wind that we've seen, but enough that you're going to be noticing right on through the afternoon, especially by that lakefront. Remember, not a lot of friction over that water. And out of the north-northeast, that could mean some pretty good chop and a little bit of shoreline erosion possible there. Even inland, it's going to be breezy all day long. So 36 today. That's a little bit above average. Still, we'll have that breeze. Looking like we keep it quiet for the most part. Tonight, a pretty quiet, maybe a few flurries in our southern counties. And then for tomorrow, cold front on its way in the afternoon and evening. Chance of a couple afternoon flurries, maybe a snow shower, still keeping that wind up a little bit. And that cold front going to live up to its name. A little bit colder now, Thursday, Friday, mid-20s. And as we go through the weekend, warming it back up as we go into Sunday in 38. Now, you can check the temperatures anytime you want on our news app. It's free in the App Store.